Every few years, we hear the word Wonder Kid being thrown around left and right by both fans and the media. They're called Wonder Kids for a reason. Compared to the rest of their peers, they stand above in skill, technique, athleticism, or whatever it is that makes you think this person can be at the top of their generation. But that's the thing. We'll never really know if these up-and-coming youngsters actually live up to their hype or end up being a massive disappointment. The only thing we can really see at the moment is their potential. But what makes Brazilian wonder kid Endrick Felipe so special is that, at only 16 years old, an insane amount of money was put where the hype is. An over 60 million euro bet made by Real Madrid to sign the youngster in advance to come and play for them when he gets old enough. That's right. The most prestigious club in football history just spent a bag and signed what many believe to be the next Ronaldo or Romario. So today, we're going to look at just how good Endrick is and see if he's really worth the insane price tag. When it comes to Brazilian wonder kids, I'm sure many of you are skeptical. In the past two decades, there was so much hype behind them. Promises of young players who were supposed to be the next Brazilian great came almost way too often, only to eventually burn out quickly before they could even reach their primes and end up becoming massive disappointments. You've seen it in guys like Adriano, Robinho, Alexandre Pato, and many more. But this time with Endrick, it might actually be different because Real Madrid actually paid big to secure signing, which is something we've never seen before, even for a Brazilian star as hyped as Neymar was at the age of 16. Nobody was really confident enough to pay for his rights. Barcelona didn't make a move for him until he was 18. Even Kylian Mbappe, as impressive as he was as a teenager, didn't nearly see the same amount of confidence from a club at 16 years old. That's because so many things could happen. Maybe they're just in good form while they're in their younger years, or they suffer an unfortunate injury, like what ended up happening to many wonder kids before. But despite all the risks, Endrick is worth the hype. But we'll have to look at his incredibly young career so far to see if he has the potential to be the real deal or not. Endrick grew up in extreme poverty in Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. At the age of four, Endrick would start to play football, and his family noticed he was incredibly coordinated at such a young age. This led to his father eventually recording him as he got older, posting videos of Endrick scoring goals online, even going as far as sending the footage to several big Brazilian clubs to try and get his son into their youth programs at a young age. Endrick's dad knew he was a special talent, and it was quite obvious to anyone who saw him play. The possibility that Endrick would have the chance to go pro was very, very real. This led the young boy to promise his family that he would do his best and work his hardest to be able to become a pro and help his family escape poverty. So you can already see from his situation that Endrick was forced to grow up quickly and has the hunger and drive to make it, not only for himself, but for those he loves as well. And that is exactly the type of fire burning inside that differentiates Academy legacy prospects of this generation from those who have to climb out of the mud with nothing to their name. By the time he was 11, Endrick finally made a big step into his journey to become a pro when he joined the Palmeiras youth team. But what really put Endrick out there on the global stage was the 2022 Sao Paulo Youth Cup, the biggest and most important under-20 sports competition in Brazil and basically where the best youth teams in the country go to face off. During the tournament, he looked like a man playing amongst boys, dominating the competition and easily outshining, scoring some incredible goals, including this insane bicycle kick. Endrick was an unquestionable star with seven goals in seven appearances, leading his club to Palmeiras' first ever Youth Cup title and winning the Player of the Tournament award as well. This type of youth performance in Brazil has only been done by the most elite of Brazil's all-time goal-scoring greats, like Pelé, Ronaldo, and Romário. Endrick is a very strong kid with good pace, incredible dribbling touch and skill, and to top it all off, insane finishing. He's as traditional of a Brazilian striker as you can think of. When many hear Endrick's story, they think of comparing him to Vinicius Jr. After all, they're both very young, incredibly talented, and both Brazilian. But that's basically where it ends because in terms of playstyle, 
The most common comparison Endrick gets is a mixture of Kylian Mbappe, Ronaldo, and Romario. Although not as fast as Mbappe, Andrik's speed is special. This is because he's able to run and maintain his top speed while dribbling with the ball, whereas Mbappe usually pushes the ball forward and sprints to it, like Gareth Bale did a lot in his prime. Both Mbappe and Endrick also like to attack from the flank and often go for goal in the near post or far post. Endrick himself has admitted that he shares a similar playstyle with Mbappe in an interview. But many people in Brazil see Endrick as the next Ronaldo. The goal-scoring comparisons are easy to see, but Endrick also has incredible strength and center of gravity like Ronaldo. At 16 years old, he's only 5 foot 8 or about 173 centimeters, but he's already a physical force to be reckoned with. The guy has a very thick bone density and can body defenders while staying on his feet. Give Endrick a few years, and he'll most likely grow taller. But at the very least, he's definitely going to get even stronger. Unlike Neymar at the same age, who was very frail, skinny, and would dive a lot, Andrik refuses to fall when he's going for goal. If he's fouled or tackled, he'll get back on his feet and continue to play. Andrik will never dive, much like Ronaldo and Romario did in their younger days when they had the ball around the box. Andrik also has great touch and skill, but prefers to finish the ball and score as quickly as possible without any wasted movements, in the same way the Brazilian goal-scoring legends did. Comparing Endrick to other wonder kids today like Gavi or Xavi Simons, for example, the difference in their composure is night and day. There is definitely no player in the world his age that can match up to Endrick as of right now. Naturally, big clubs from all over Europe showed interest in Endrick, including PSG, Chelsea, Barcelona, Man City, and many more. But it was Madrid who was able to secure the wonder kid with an over 60 million euro fee to secure his rights when he becomes old enough to transfer over and play in Europe. And with the way Madrid developed and gave chances to other young Brazilian talents like Rodrigo and Vinicius Jr., it's honestly a no-brainer. And the fact that Endrick idolized Cristiano Ronaldo growing up definitely helped in Madrid's favor as well. But in the words of Endrick himself, I'll always fight, and I'll always be persistent and try until the last minute I'm in the game. I never give up, I pressure defenders, and I run more than anyone else on the pitch. And when you have this hard-working mentality combined with very, very humble beginnings, you almost never bet against it. So hopefully, Endrick can stay healthy and continue to develop his talents and strength, because come 2024, He'll make his debut in Europe and show the world what he can do. And if he does, he will be a joy for football fans all over the world. And I believe we'll be hearing a lot more about Andrik in the years to come.